Good morning, everybody. I'm going on a little field trip before I work, but I wanted to show you, this is not all fog. There's actually like a wildfire near Celebration. And I think this is still remnants of it. Some, I mean, there is some of this is fog, but I can smell the smoke. Coming in, and it was thicker back there, but I had to, I didn't think it was out, I didn't think it was still going on, so I didn't have the camera ready. I'll tell you what, you'll never see Disney Springs Orange Parking Garage this empty. There was like over 3,000 car spots or something, but because it's before it opened. Here we go. It's showtime. We got our tickets. Look how quiet and serene it all looks. Never been to Disney Springs this early, but I gotta go to work now. Gotta get upstairs, hop in the car, get over to work, and do that. We got 11 p.m. tickets, so it'll be a late night. It's a two and a half hour movie, so probably get home close to two in the morning. But it's supposed to be a really good movie. Everyone's already, like, early reviews are saying it's supposed to be awesome. So we're, uh, that means we can have, like, a full night, like, park or something. And I could probably still go on a run and reach out and get ready and everything before, uh, we come to the movies because it's at 11. And let me move on to show up a little bit early to see if they're doing anything cool for the premiere or to see the crowds, but I gotta go. It is about exactly 12 hours from the last time you saw me a second ago, if that makes sense. We're having a quick... Wait, don't show her a janky dinner. We're having a janky dinner, and I'm gonna show it. <laughs> I, couldn't even, I couldn't even cut the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Confessions, I worked at Subway for almost four years. I consider myself a pretty darn good bread slicer. Not that that's like something to be spreading accolades about, but uh, on the contrary, Sarah is the opposite of a what you would call a good bread cutter. You won't teach me. She's an aspiring bread cutter. I like you to, to ask me. It makes me feel needed. And this dog is about to try hot dogs for the first time, and look at the utter excitement. She does not know what's about to happen. Oh! Won't let her mull it over. Where's the next one? <laughs> shake, shake, shake. We are at Disney Springs. I feel like, look at this sunset. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Guys, I struggled today. Sarah had a rough day. Hold on, let's get out of um, wind. Okay, so I get these really bad migraines. Like I get migraines regularly, but sometimes I get them where I actually like lose my vision and I just need to be like in darkness. So last night I started to lose my vision. I took medicine and I was fine and the headache never came. So I was like, oh, I beat it. But this morning I woke up and it was like one of those headaches. So I wasn't able to like, I worked until like three. Like I kind of just had to like- I was surprised through. you worked that, that much. But then like I've been relaxing and that's why we like didn't go out until 8.30, but. But I also went on my run already. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, evening. <laughs> <laughs> I went on my run already, put in three miles. Two more days of- Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I did four miles. I don't know, um, but that's why it's so late. But we're also just gonna mosey around Disney Springs because our show's not till 11. We'll probably come back at like 10, 15, 10:30. Yeah, I still have my headache, but I was able to take medicine. The other issue is this morning. We're out. Got that chocolate with We might get some more Giordani chocolate because you know Disney Springs. Yeah, so. just gonna relax. So this is not as all out as Star Wars, yeah, I'm right? This is. I'm surprised. They have little posters. I mean, you see people like cosplaying and stuff. Like, look at them over there. But yeah, not as big as the Star Wars. What's the deal? Peter's wearing an adventure shirt. I'm I'm ready for the show. <laughs> oh, sorry, Marvel. What'd you say? Avengers. Uh, it's both. Okay, Sarah heard earlier that it's National Pretzel Day, and Wetzel's pretzels might be giving away free pretzels. So. uh it says on their Instagram. But this is also like, everyone was tweeting this about Disneyland's downtown Disney location and then City Walk LA. But the girls in front of us I saw have it on their Facebook. So we shall see. We did it. National Pretzel Day success. These They're are so the freshest pretzels I've ever held in my entire life. They're like, oh, I haven't had one of these in a long time. I used to, so I worked at a mall in a Disney store in Chicago and we used to get Wetzel's pretzels all the time, classic pretzel hot dog was my favorite or just any of these generics all the dips 
Yeah. Brings me back, I'm salivating, I just ate. Still gonna salivate. After a basin hand wash. Secretly, I think I love it more than Sarah or two sisters combined. If I could jump in a tub of that and just scrape <laughs> my body with all that salt. There's three cats. There's three cats. There's that black cat and look back there. There's two more by the bushes. What is this, Disneyland or something? Look at that. There's one back there between the buses and the trucks. Hello kitty. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm not a big runner just yet. Like well, I'm getting there, but this shirt speaks to me already because because it's true. I run that first mile when I'm at resorts and I feel good, I'm pumping, I'm going fast, people around me, and then I get away from the resort or my apartment complex, and it's not as light, it's dark, there's no people to like rip, cheer you on or give you a nod or a smile, and then you get hot and sweaty and tired. It's just rough after that first mile. That first mile is a liar. Here we go. We're about to go Get in there, strip our, our, our ticket, and get ready to get in there. Our show's in 30 minutes. Here are the crowds. Look at this group right over here. These cosplayers right here. Look at that perfect. Ooh, I love it. I love the enthusiasm in the crowd. Woo. All right, movie starts in 20 minutes. We're gonna go sit. I think previews start in 20 minutes, but you all know I love previews. We're in theater we 12. We love previews. Okay, also take a vote if you think I'm going to fall asleep or not. Katie was like, you're for sure falling asleep. And I was like, now I'm like determined. So I don't think she's going to. I did not she might. because of my headaches. So. But she might. You never know. It depends on how comfy she gets in there. We should do a, an Instagram survey. Well, we got time to set that up. Yeah. We'll let you know how it is afterwards. I'm so nervous. I think I'm going to cry. I heard I might cry. Guys, I made it. I dozed. Wait, Peter, be proud. I am proud, I but I, I, I wasn't sure what you were gonna say next. So for you to say I made it is <laughs> true. With uh, I dozed it. during one conversation, which you were able to clear in like ten words, and then one fight scene, which was just like not a lot. So, but it was a really good movie. Yeah, it was. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing it one or two more times. Yeah, there's a lot to it. It's always fun leaving those kind of movie theaters because like a certain percentage of the people who are watch, sitting down and watching that movie literally have has read the comic books about the storyline. So, so to them it's know. like they already know or they know baseline what, where Marvel's going to go because Marvel has creative liberties that kind of, they could veer from the comics if they wanted to. But uh, some of the people are like, I know what's going to happen and I know what's going to happen in the next movie. And then there's people who are like are completely oblivious, who have no idea and like... Not it's just interesting him, yeah. to then hear those perspectives. But it was super good. There is an end uh, post credit scene um, that's super important. So if you go see it, stay to the all the way at the end. Mm -hmm. And it was just done very well, I think. I mean, yeah. it, it kind of, you kind of had to anticipate there being like, it kind of being a high level story because there's so much going on and so many characters. Right. I think that's Some things why were very I quick awake so much because there was like constantly like new characters and new interactions and being new introduced. important storyline plot yeah. so like it wasn't like um where there's like a lot of build up and a lot of backstory it was literally it was like, like boom 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 character, boom character boom, boom, in, boom which boom. like i mean i might get a lot of flack for this but like i have not seen a single marvel movie besides black panther and i slept through it so like 
to be honest. Like, I had no knowledge of the backstory of anybody besides, like, okay, I know who Captain America is. I know who the Hulk is. I know, like, who those people are because just of, like, pop culture. Mm -hmm. But, like, I still enjoyed it as a movie. It's, you know, as a high action packed um, movie. And I don't know. I really, I liked it. I mean, I obviously stayed awake. Except for that one conversation. Peter can't let me just say I stayed awake because I was like... <laughs> uh, but it was super, super good. I really enjoyed it. I was nervous for many years after they finally announced that they were doing this. Uh-huh. That um, it was going to be terrible because I'm like, literally, how are they going to put all those characters in it? Everyone's going to get like 30 seconds of like screen time. But it was really good. Very done very well. I'm There's excited. There's so locations. I'm excited when the next one comes up. But I don't know, like... Has to be years, don't you think? Unless well, I don't know. I feel, unless it's like this is the part where like we're style. not super we're not super fans because I think it's already I, to, I think it's supposed to come out next year. Oh, I think yeah. that they're already I, know, yeah. I think they're already filming. Well, it was a really good movie. You should go see it. Don't go see it um, at eleven o'clock show when you've worked the next day because now it's two in the morning. I'm sitting on the the roof of the orange garage at Disney Springs with Sarah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>